All right. John chapter 15, 5 to 6. Okay. Let us start with these verses. Hallelujah. Actually, I have prepared, uh, I already prepared a message. <laughs> There are two generations mentioned in this passage. Joshua generation and the new generation. Joshua generation, they know God. How they know God? In verse 6. In verse 6, what the verse 6 says? They know. Verse 7. The people worship the Lord. 
throughout Joshua lifetime. Mereka menyembah Tuhan. Joshua generation mereka menyembah. Macam mana mereka menyembah? Sacrifice. They pray. Just to maintain your own relationship with God. Pray and the word. For now, sekarang punya sepatutnya prayer word. Amen. Personally, it do what you can do personally. Yeah, you pray, you come, you worship the Lord, read the word. Amen. Yeah. That's how you maintain personal relationship. Because you know what God wants you to do through His word. And then, bila kita mengucap syukur, When we worship the Lord, we only start with thank you, Lord. When you begin with thank you, Lord, you begin to remember what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Amen. Come along, Lord. Ah, but man, I want to say thank you, Lord. What you have done? Apa yang This. That's how you begin to know, to remember what the Lord has done for you, for your friend, for your family. Tapi kalau kau tidak pernah buat itu, kau tidak ambil masa untuk ingat apa Tuhan buat dengan kau. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Yesterday, kemarin, I'm officially now, yeah. Officially sekarang saya adalah orang kampung kampung di Manco. Ya yeah, official <laughs> kemarin because nine of us initially enam kemudian last minute ada tambahan tiga lagi so nine of us officially become uh, member of itu kampung. Dia bagus because kalau ada sesiapa yang masuk dia kasih buat official. Uh, it's like a public announcement, okay? Uh, these are the new people in this kampung. Yeah, uh, but then you have to pay two thousand each. Bukan <laughs> murah. And what are the qualification? Qualification sama ada kau kawin orang sana? No, kawin orang sana automatic. Kalau kau kawin orang sana automatic you become. But the other qualifications are. You have a land there, and you have house there. Ah, then you qualify to become one of the orang kampung sana. Yeah, but you have to pay for the two thousand. The two thousand actually is bukan. Actually, the two thousand is to buy kerbau to to kasih makan itu kampung. Ah, bukan untuk mereka, bukan orang sini. It's actually to cover the cost of for that uh, official announcement because itu orang kampung semua datang makan you have to feed them yeah? so like <coughs> nah <laughs> yeah dua ribu satu orang So now I'm officially orang kampung di sana. So now I have uh, three official kampung. My kampung where I was born, Lontong Kota Brudu, where my wife come from, Kelawat Kota Brudu, and this is a new adopted <laughs> kampung. Uh, this is the new adopted yeah? kampung. So. <laughs> You ada tiga alamat lah. Yeah. <laughs> so you see when you are 
part of uh, uh, part of the place. Yeah, they recognize you, and you begin to recognize them. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, the same thing with our relationship with God. So actually, what I want to uh, actually we have to pay two thousand. But before that, kami engage in the Hitachi Mokasi Bagus, kami punya jalan di sana. That already is, I already spent 2,000 di sana. And then suddenly, ini datang daripada itu ketua kampung. Eh, hey, Pastor. They, they begin to call me Pastor. Eh, hey, Pastor. Um, ada ini upacara. 22 hari bulan. Tapi mau bayar 2,000. Then I said, he said, ini baru kan? So I said, hey, this is um, unplanned expenses. I told him, this is unplanned expenses. <laughs> we don't have. Saya dengan itu cekku. Ada satu cekku di sekolah saya juga. He got a land name. So kami pun sama-sama. Because four of us share itu. Pos kasih bagus itu jalan. So we don't have much money <laughs> left. Cukup untuk satu uh, bulan lah itu. So we told the, I told the ketua kampung, this is unplanned expenses. Tidak kena perancang lah. Boleh kami bayar seribu dulu. <laughs> I ask for favor, but before that I pray to God. God, I don't have enough money now, and I do not intend to borrow from anyone. Yeah, but what I can do, I said, I will ask for favor. I only have 1,000 plus in my account now. I give 1,000. Yeah. Uh, so I told him, I told him to go to Kampung, can buy a dulu, nanti yang setengah lagi kemudian lah. Then he said, okay, we, I, I will bring your case to our meeting. After the meeting, he messaged me. Boleh, boleh. So I praised the Lord for that. Yeah. And actually, what happened this year? I mean, this month, saya punya anak register lagi di university.